Hello and welcome to the second video of Numenor for iPad. If you haven't seen the first one, go and check that out. In that video, I'll go over the landscape tool, presets and more. But for this video, we are going to be editing a photo and also replacing the sky with the sky replacement tool. So let's get started. All right, so find the image then that you want to work on, whether it's in your camera roll or in an album and tap it to get started. I am using the Apple Pencil, but again, that is not essential for using this application. Now this is a picture of Gyeongbokgung Palace in Seoul. What I like about this image is the contrast between the palace and the, for and the foreground. I also like the tones that are coming through with this image. It was taken during golden hour, so I can use the golden hour tool for that. And then I'm going to replace the sky, I think with a nice dramatic sunset. So let's get started with the edit. I'm going to just bring in um, a bit of contrast between the wall and the palace. Bring in more shadow. I'm going to add just a touch of vignette and nothing major. And then I think, actually, let me just fine tune this just a bit with the tone curve. There we go. That's looking good. All right. And then I'm going to bring in more clarity to the image as well. And to do that, I'm going to use the structure AI tool. I'm going to turn that dial to the right. That will add more clarity. If I go to the left hand side, it's going to soften the image. What we've got though with this is it's looking good, but it's brought in more light to my foreground. So a quick test, which tool do we use to reduce the brightness in the foreground? We of course use the Relight AI tool. The bottom light here is my brightness near. So I'm going to push this dial to the left and that's going to reduce the brightness in the foreground only. Now, if you're not happy with the depth or you want to edit the depth, then use the depth dial just down here in the right hand corner. Okay, I'm happy with how this is looking so far, but I just want to add a touch more color. So I'm going to bring in the golden hour tool there. That's looking good. And I think that's finished. So I think now we're ready to add in the dramatic sunset. So the dial in the bottom left hand corner will take us to the sky replacement mode. So you can either turn the dial or tap. You're going to want to click on the clouds. So I'm going to look for a sunset. Let's go for that one. Let's add that in. So I was going to analyze my image and look exactly where it needs to replace the sky. And there we go. So that's looking very cool. Um, if it's even replaced the sky in the background of the palace roof decorations just there, which is incredible. All right. So let's just run through the sky tools real quick. If you wanted to adjust the vertical or horizontal alignment, you use this tool in the top right hand corner. This will allow you to make any adjustments that you want. You've also then got different tools here. We've got the uh, global tool and we've got fixing details and closing gaps. But as you can see, but the details in my image are looking very good already. And then if you want to adjust the sky and make it blend in more with your image, you can use this tool, which it, we can use brightness. So I'm going to just reduce the brightness of touch. And then I'm going to add in just a bit more warmth. Like so. Yeah, that's looking good. And yeah, I'm actually really happy with that. So I'm going to leave it exactly how it is. So when you've finished your edit and you're ready to, I don't know, maybe upload it to social media, then you can go to the share button in this top right hand corner, click on share. And then what you want to do is go ahead and whether, let's say we're going to go post to Instagram. And then from here, you can actually post directly to a story, a post and a message. So this is what I mean, this app is perfect for when you're on the go because you can just directly share all of your work whilst you're out in the field doing whatever you do. You can share it directly to your social media. If, of course, you're not ready to share to social media, you can then save it to your photos instead. All right, there we go. So it really is that simple to get your edits done on the go wherever you are and to also get them uploaded to social media. If you've had a chance to use the Sky Replacement tool, then you can share your results with us using the hashtag Luminar for iPad. I'll be back again soon with some more Luminar app and Luminar Neo content. So I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.